see you. Good to How see you, How long have you been here in L.A. now? It's been a year, right? Uh, almost a year, yes. Do you feel like you're at home? Do you feel like you're a part of the community? I feel I'm settling in. You're settling in. Did you buy a house here? No, we are renting a house. Oh, you're renting? Renting, yes. Should that be a message to us that you're not going to stay very long? Mm, uh, let's see, let's see. <laughs> could be, could... Uh, Do you have any furniture? I have furniture. Oh, good. Okay. But, uh, yeah, the story is, when we rented the house or looking, I said to my wife, listen, get a house with furniture because yeah. I don't go out there and following you to, to get the furniture. <laughs> And she was like, I found a nice house, but has no furniture. And I'm like, but then you go to Ikea and you get the furniture. <laughs> and then the broker goes like, rich people, they don't, they don't buy furniture in Ikea. No, but intelligent people do. <laughs> <laughs> That's my story. Ikea. I didn't even know that that was the right way to pronounce it. I, mean, I assume you Ikea. know it's Ikea, huh? Ikea. We always say Ikea. Does that drive you crazy when you hear that? I was repeating your word. Oh. It's Ikea. It's Ikea, yeah. Yes. Oh, they must have been thrilled at Ikea. Did you assemble the stuff yourself? No. Uh, no. My no. wife is good at that. She's good with that sort of thing. <laughs> she has a good eye for that. Just look at me. What was your bet with David Beckham? David Beckham, of course, played for the Galaxy. He was the uh, previous big star to come over here and play for the Galaxy. And then you showed up. You guys had a bet on the World Cup, right? We made a bet at World Cup. So Sweden is playing against England. And I said, if Sweden beats England, I go to Ikea and I buy whatever I want, but you pay for it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and he goes, okay, but if England win, you come, to, <laughs> you come to Wembley Stadium in England, and you watch a game in the England shirt and eat fish and chips. <laughs> and I was like, okay, but I lost the bet. You so. lost the bet? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but you have but not... But I'll bring the Sweden team. They have to follow me now and watch the game and eat fish and chips. You chip. are going to, you're going to make good on the it. bet. I will do it. You will do it. When will you do it? Do you know? As soon as I have time. Uh-huh. I'm busy. <laughs> <laughs> so there's no time. There, no, At no... the moment, no. Yeah, all right. So last year, well, the Galaxy missed the playoffs last year. How do you feel about this season? Do you feel better about the team? I feel good. I mean, we have new coach, some new players. I feel I'm here from day one. Last mm -hmm. season, I came after, after one month, I think. And uh, I feel ready. I've done the preparation. You, I saw that you scored your 500th career goal. Yes. And uh, can we play that video? Show that videotape because this is uh, 500 goals is unbelievable. But the way you scored it. Another angle at this here. That's a human body is not supposed to go that way. Uh, here we go again. And was that just reflex or did you want to make sure number 500 was special? I wanted to make it special. That's, yeah. some, that's some ninja stuff. That is ninja I'm stuff. Able to do. <laughs> but when you score a goal like that, you go crazy. You, you get a lot of adrenaline. I wouldn't know, but so, yeah, I, yeah. But we were losing the game, 3-0. Uh -huh. And I scored that goal. So if that would be the leading goal, I would leave the stadium. Oh, you would have just yeah, hung yeah. it up because right there? Because when you score a goal like that, you just you have nothing to prove anymore. <laughs> You're the captain of the team now. Yes. What are the responsibilities of the captain? Do you have to bring, like, orange slices to the practice? <laughs> <laughs> Not really. I have to keep an eye on all the players because I'm the oldest one. So you do, yeah. I feel a lot of responsibility. I feel honored to be the captain. And I feel like a boss also. So. You're 37, right? Yes. Yeah. You've got a 16-year-old teammate. Yes. That's crazy. It is. He's yeah. from Mexico. I'm double up from him. So. Uh, can you, I mean, even imagine playing in L.A. on the Galaxy at that age? Do you, is it a good idea, do you think? For him or for me? For, for either one of you. <laughs> <laughs> no, it feels good. He's Have a, you taken him under your wing? Yeah, yeah, he's a yeah. good guy. I think yeah. he's the best 16-year-old in the MLS, and he has a great future, great potential. So I feel I'm like a father for him. So he's If like he asked kid. you to buy him beer, would you? To him, no. No, absolutely. not for him, no. No chance. You were not... <laughs> no chance. No chance. Okay, all right, so you really are a father figure to him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm being an example in the, in the way I think I should be. You're here in L.A. Do you have, like, an uh, aspiration to do movies or television or anything like this after your, your career is done? I'm, <laughs> I'm a little bit curious how the world looks like in that, on that side and yeah. I'm in the right place. 
So let's see what happens. I, I mean, think he'd be a good, like, Bond villain would yeah, be a good thing so. for you. I think so. I think villain, good guy. Can you sing? Whatever, a hero. Sing, no. no. You cannot, no. Oh. Because I was thinking maybe, like, if there's a sequel to A Star is Born, you could sing. <laughs> I need to be the action guy. You want to be an action guy? Jump from buildings and all these crazy things. Kick people in the head? Yeah. Just like the yeah, gold. Yeah, just like the gold, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you have two sons, right? Yes. How old are the boys? Uh, 11 and 12. And I assume they play soccer, or as they you play call it, soccer, football? They uh, play soccer, football, soccer, mm -hmm. and uh, taekwondo. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, so they're doing those kind of kicks, too. Yeah, yeah. Are they, are they impressed because, well, they play soccer. Are they impressed that their dad is one of the greatest players of all time? Does no, that, they, they're not at all? No, absolutely not. Really? So when I try to help them and dad, they go, Papa, we know to do better than you, so. Oh, they do? Sit on your place. So it became like a conference now in the family. It's competition. Who is the best? And you're the best, right? I mean, you could kill those guys. According to me, yes. But yeah. if you ask them, they're the best. Do they ever beat you? Like, if you are, uh, you know, in goal or whatever, and would, are they ab ever able they're to skillful. score on you? They're skillful. They're skillful, yeah. Yes. And they will become professionals, you think? You hope? Uh, no, I mean, I don't force them to... You have to. <laughs> you have to. I force them to be active and trained, to get the self-discipline. Whatever see. they want to be, they become, but... I believe in training one individual, one collective. So I don't like lazy people. I want them to be active. And that's okay. what I try to, to put in them. You're so already, there I yeah. pressure them. Yeah, right. Well, that's what you have to do with boys. Zlatan Ibrahimovic, everybody. Thank you for being here. The Galaxy in the Fire. Play Saturday at Dignity Health you know, Sports Park. If you like that video, click subscribe, and we'll be together until one of us dies.